Oh, you went all the way around. Huh. Oh, oh. Guess what? We're headed on a real recovery with the Wrecker. We're gonna stop at Maverick, get some gas. We got Hillbilly and Steve in the Trekker. We're gonna fuel them up and we're headed to Manti. All right, so we just filled up the Wrecker, 10.4 gallons. So on our last little play trip of getting that trailer, took a lot of gas, got it all topped off. Wrecker's running good today. This is the support wagon, the old jackrabbit. This is what gets us off if something happens. That's right, this is what gets Hillbilly off. Bruh. Yeah. 8.974 gallons. Just like that, we're off. So I'm starting to think that we need to rename the King Fred the Rattle Trap. This thing is shaking. Definitely needs to get some new tires. We're gonna be addressing that in another video. We're heading to the hills up in Manti, Utah, my hometown. Our friend Owen called us. One of his friends rolled a Toyota 4Runner. They rolled it back over. It's got a broken track bar. So we're gonna try to get in there and we'll lift it out. All right, so we just found Owen. He's gonna just guide us into wherever we're going. It's his friend that rolled his 4Runner. Supposedly he lost his brakes, got in a weird spot and ended up rolling. Hopefully this thing will make it where we're going. I was just gonna I say, we'll, will it make it? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. It's what we got the Trekker and Owen's vehicle for. I haven't been on this hill since high school. We used to call this the backside of Duncan Hill. So there's a water tower up here. All right, so right over that ledge is his forerunner. So we're gonna run down there, kind of assess it, and then figure out a way around to get the wrecker down in there and try to get it out. So Damon had himself a little mishap last night, <laughs> but he was smart and he left it. Owen came in and- No, I came and rolled it over last night onto its wheels. So Owen already ruined it. It's already on its wheels, <laughs> so we don't get any fun of rolling it back. So it's right here and he was, where were you at? It was right up here, lost the brakes. Roll backwards all the way down to that ledge down there and it flipped right on its top. Right about here and it flipped right down that way. So we started up here. You guys have been tearing this whole area up. So I think what we're gonna do is go take the bypass route. You wanna see how capable the wrecker is? We got nothing to lose if we hit him. It's already damaged. <laughs> we'll see, we'll figure this, we'll do some soul searching and figure out how to get the wrecker in here. So we figured out the problem, the brake pedal is at the floor. So that, that's a problem in case you didn't know this. Well, having the brakes were, so I've had issues with the brakes. I got up on the rock up there and I slid backwards and this has all the um, computer stuff in it still. So it had the, um, it shut the car off to protect the transmission because I started rolling backwards and drive. Oh, shut the car off. My brakes were stopped working once the car shut off. Got rolling too quick by the time I threw it into park and steered it right up there. And... That's why you don't put a Lexus engine in it's your- a great motor. Off-road vehicle. <laughs> It's a great motor tell you tell it shuts off and you roll your vehicle. Yeah. The so. computers are the issue, definitely. Brakes are optional. <laughs> so anyway, back on its wheels. You guys can probably go check that out on Owen's channel. I'm sure he recorded it. But we're gonna figure out how to get it out of here. And I don't think the wrecker is capable of doing everything we want it to do yet, but I think we need to bring it down in here and at least try. I mean, if we can get it up in here and somehow lift this, we can try to back it down. So we're gonna we're gonna get the wrecker in here. We might break some stuff. That's the, that's the way you figure out what you need to reinforce. So, gonna lock it into four wheel, four wheel low. We're gonna go down that hill. And we're just gonna figure it out. As long as we don't roll it, we should be fine. There's a way out the bottom. All right, we got it locked into four low. It's gonna be the first actual recovery, not just picking up a trailer. We gotta figure this one out. Hit Hurry and pull out that receiver. Yeah. You're probably gonna want to slam on that rock when we come down. We need that wheel lift. Yeah. Good? Go. Stop you up.
definitely have to put a four link or something in there. That front tire keeps coming off the ground. Over too far on this hill, it's flexing out too much. You need to go that way. Okay, you need to go that way a little bit. Rolling. Your mirrors are too wide. What? Your mirrors too wide. Looks like we're just gonna excavate the whole thing and just make our own road. We can pull it all the way down and hook up there, but I wanna at least see if we can try to get past it. Try to guide me up there. So we're gonna try to get up a little bit higher. You gotta remember, this has no lockers, no gears, it's just a stock tow truck. So we're trying to do some stuff that it's not capable of doing yet. So that's gonna change. Uh, we got the back. All right, we've tested it. It's not going back up. So we're gonna turn back around. We'll hook him from the rear and get it down somewhere where we can actually hook it up and get it out of here. All right, so what we're gonna do first, we're gonna get the wheel lift and basically use it as a stop. And then we'll, we'll probably just pick up from those shackle mounts with some soft shackles. Otherwise, we gotta go all the way into the rear end and it'll pull on the body. Not that it cares, it's already damaged, but. So Owen's gonna grab his blazer and hook up to the front just so that we have a stop. Just so that when we do do it, it doesn't when it starts to pendle him. We'll just get some pressure on it. We're gonna wait for Owen to hook up and then we're gonna try to get it out of here. So Owen's gonna hook up his winch so that when I lift it, it doesn't just wanna take off. Um, we were gonna use the wheel lift, but we'll just suck that back in, get it out of the way. And then we're gonna start going and he's just gonna start winching it out so that we don't break a coil over. The track bar's busted off. And we gotta get it down in order to hook up to it. You ready? Can you get in and keep the wheel straight? Damon's just gonna get in and keep the wheel straight. Forward a little. Where he can straighten it. Hold that. I'm letting it out, Owen. I'm about to die from asphyxiation. What the asphyxiation? You're getting all the exhaust. This definitely needs a new exhaust. Paul Cox, I need an exhaust system. You guys know what to do. Go let Paul know that this wrecker needs exhaust. <laughs> no, sorry. Tell me when it gets tight. Hold on. So you just gonna pull them all the way? Huh? They got the brakes. Well, with Owen on the front, I don't know if he's gonna drive while he. Oh, no. Let the out. Oh, 
I'm gonna go forward. No belly. You can run this while I'm in it. You want me to let it down or up or what? I just want to just kind of fill it out. Oh, kind of fell off. Here in a second, we'll try to get this turned around and get hooked to it on the wheel lift. Um, it's going up a hill a little bit. Left it to the moon. We're going to try to pivot it. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try to do, see what I can, like, is it, it's not going to push it, is it? It's no. not moving at all. Then let's go down further. Hey, hey, come, 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 come. Oh, Yeah. Let's tire up, I can tire up down. Oop. Let us down. Why did it die? Forward, overloaded the motor. I don't see a shed down here. There's a Chevy pulling. Right behind that Toyota. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. That's Maybe that's not a blazer. What do you guys think? Is that a blazer? Is that made by Chevy? So Robbie's pulling straight in front of the, custom, the guy's uh, other vehicle so we can get in front of it and pick it up. He's pulling in front of the other four runner so we can get in front of it and pick it up. Um. Monkey boy might be able to get it off there. <laughs> I'm gonna back up to it and try to get this thing on the wheel lift. We're figuring out all sorts of things that this wrecker needs. <laughs> Lockers and gears, absolutely a must. Yeah. Front axle needs four links. And I'm wondering if it needs- It needs brake uh, Fuel pressure regulator. It needs something. It needs an exhaust. Needs an exhaust and probably some O2 sensors and needs a bunch of stuff. But for now, that's fine. <laughs> it's a work in progress. How far are you overhanging? That means you're too far that way. Oh, that way just a little bit. Should we lift it and put it in? Probably and send it on it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift the front end. We're gonna put the arms in it and then set them into the arms because this thing is so wide that it's not gonna be like a conventional wheel lift. Are you doing it Rory style? Yeah, well we should be. If it doesn't, if this doesn't work, we'll use cross slings like Rory. Hey, boom out. Oh, Is are it? your coils, you don't have limit straps. No. You think your coils will hold? I don't know. You want to run a strap around it first? Pick it up off the Huh? You sure? I have no liability if they snap. No, you're good. He wants the shocks anyways. Totally more mad than I would be. So we just put the arms in. It's basically going to make a cradle for the tires to sit down in. Ready? Are you in it? It's wide enough. Well, get it strapped right there. I would still leave this hooked up. There's a first for everything, and this is the first wheel lift job. So I think it'll work. We're going to hook up to it, and we're going to try to go up this road and take it to his house. I'm hooking up the uh, wheel straps. We had to go through the rim just because there's so much sponge in these tires. 
we don't want it to seem well, tight and not really be tight and fall off and lose the whole vehicle. I ain't going went nowhere. So Steve went around the tire, not just through the wheel. So hopefully that holds. I guess we'll see. I really don't think it's going to go anywhere. Hopefully not. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, is that the hub's locked in, so it's still player. locked in. It's still turning. Get it out of four wheel drive. All right, we got it. It's locked into four wheel drive, so we're gonna hurry and get it out. Back up for him. Keep coming. I can't unlock, it won't unlock. So I can't get this uh, hub to unlock, so we're going to pick it back and uh, loosen the strap, pick it back up to where we can get it to unlock. Is that a four wheel drive now, Hillbilly? Can you go up a little bit more? Okay, down. All right, we're going to try to get up this hill. Watch everything. Hey, you got a flat tire. Me? Yeah. Well, I don't think it had air. I don't think either one of them had air. Right, against all odds, it made it up the hill. So it's all downhill from here. So I'm going to follow Owen out. We're going to go drop this off at his house and head back to the shop. All right, so this is the part of the video where we end it with a t-shirt. So imagine that he has a t-shirt right here. He can get it later because we didn't grab one. But we appreciate you giving us a call. Thank you, Robbie. I appreciate it. Sorry about your absolutely terrible luck. Oh, it happens. As always, we appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one.